Hey guys, you know you can almost always find a cheapo drone being advertised on Facebook. But the thing is they generally make it quite clear that it's a cheapo drone. They advertise it for 10, 20, maybe 30 bucks. And if you have any familiarity with drones, you know they're one of the cheapo, hard to fly quads that have become legion out there. So one day I ran across an ad for a really inexpensive Mavic Air with the Fly More combo. And to tell you the truth, I've avoided the Mavic Air and the Spark because I like my big Phantoms. Sure, they're a little difficult to transport if you're hiking or camping, but I just trusted the quality of the drone and the final product of the video to a higher degree. And yeah, I know I was being a little snobby. Then along comes a company called Bear Fox True, and they said that they had cheap Mavics. And the picture they used, sure enough, it was a Mavic. The advertising pages were right off of the DJI page. And Surely this had to be accurate or the Chinese Mafia would be paying these boys a visit and be breaking a few knees. How good of a price were we talking about here? How about $39.90? That blew my mind. I knew I had to have one of these. And I could certainly put aside my distaste for the smaller drone for $39.90. In fact, I might even have been willing to pick up five of them and hand them out as subscriber gifts. Then I heard a small, still voice in my head. And since I generally hear some sort of voice in my head, I tried to ignore it. However, it was quite persistent, and I finally realized it was the voice of my dearly departed mom. Bob, it said, the road to hell is paved with good intentions. That was one of her favorite things to say to me, for whatever reason, but it didn't really seem appropriate at that moment. Then I heard her say, if it seems too good to be true, it's not true. I also heard, you get what you pay for. You know, and then I'm like, for crying out loud, Mom, I'm not stupid. I know this deal is not any more real than your voice in my head. And I heard very faint. So, of course, I ordered one. So, okay, let's pause for a moment. I do know that they were not going to send me an $800 drone for 40 bucks, But I also wanted to have a little fun, and I saw an opportunity to make a video. I suddenly started to notice a veritable locust plague of similar ads from different companies. Some advertised the Mavic Pro and some advertised the Spark. And they were all for these stupidly low prices. I thought I would see if they had the actual cojones to publicly state that indeed these were genuine DJI products. And Strangely enough, all the messages I sent to them got quickly deleted. After multiple messages that were ignored, I simply decided to take the low road and start calling them names. It was strangely invigorating. However, these also got deleted. I noticed that a lot of other people were starting to call them names too. Eventually, I had to wonder to myself, what does Facebook think about these people using their platform to defraud its subscribers? They were probably livid. I mean, after all the bad press they've been getting in the last couple months, I was quite sure they were probably ready to fire hose these companies. But you know what? It turns out they didn't seem to actually think anything of it. I reported these sites as scams and frauds, and I got repeated canned responses saying that they understood I didn't like the site and they would gladly keep the site off my Facebook page. However, they didn't feel like the companies were violating any of their rules. Really? 
I don't think I could have felt much more violated if I was in prison and my job was to pick up all the dropped bars of soap. So after a bunch of these non-replies, I started clicking on the little frowny face icon that symbolized how you felt about their response to you. And this would bring up an alarmed message asking what they could have done better. And I said they could vet their advertisers better. And the next time I had to hit that button, I suggested that they hire actual drone pilots and let them review these sites. Those people would understand that these companies were scamming their users. And then I suggested that maybe Facebook was okay with their user base being scanned. I never got any replies from them either. Eventually I ramped up a little bit and started telling them that they obviously don't care about fraud, scams, and deceit being perpetrated on their subscribers as long as they were getting their revenue. No, no answer about that either. So here's what seems to be the end of the story. I've suddenly stopped seeing most of these ads and I'm not sure if Facebook took action against them or if they just successfully blocked them from appearing on my page. And there's something else I haven't seen after 40 plus days and that would be a drone of any type. I, being me, of course, had to send a few emails, four to be exact, to the customer support email listed for Bear Fox True. These were the basic inquiries about when I might expect my drone. For some reason, I've never gotten any replies to any of those four notes either, and I don't really expect to, and I don't expect to ever receive a drone. And if I do, I'll update you. So let's get to the moral of the story here. Fraud exists on Facebook. Scammers seem to roam freely on Facebook. Facebook does not seem to care that this happens as caring probably affects their bottom line. Facebook does care about its bottom line. So remember the words of my sainted mother, if it seems too good to be true, it is too good to be true. And you get what you pay for. But not always. Have a good one. Well, my wife's going to kill me if she finds out I've been in her makeup again.